morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Tuesday, and it is actually Tuesday. It is actually Tuesday. We got some comments that we were funny and uh, we're idiots and we're stupid, but I, you know, I wish they'd lie to us. Ah, sometimes. Valentine's Day. Woo, what a day. Happy Valentine's, all you women's and men's. Did you get your new spouse to be something? Oh, yeah. What'd you know, you I'm all about that stuff. Uh, you are. What'd you get? I got a little little cup with a bear in it and some one of them little bitty chocolate deals. Did you already get it to her? It was, I left it on the counter oh. last night after she went to, went to sleep. Okay. And she got me a card. And then I walk in another room and there's another card. So it's pretty. What did I get, Stephanie? A hug, probably. I went out on a limb this year. Did you now? Yes. I gave her exactly what she wanted. No, no, no. Hundred dollar bill to get a new tattoo. She went because we don't do think we don't do you know this we don't do Valentine's we don't do Christmas and stuff. We well she gets on something but we don't do cheaper that, that stuff. way. We don't do it. But she went and it was a hint thrown out. I'm getting my I'm getting this. She has a tattoo. Oh there. yeah, I'm, I'm getting, getting this. I'm getting this. I got this, so I'm getting another one. And I said okay. <laughs> So when she got in last night, I said, Happy Valentine's. I handed her a $100 bill. She was like, You didn't have to do that. Didn't have. I was like, God. Thank you. Day. I'm going to go in here and watch my shows <laughs> and dream about my new tattoo. So I wanted to talk about that because my post on Facebook this morning was, Why does it take one day for you to tell the person you appreciate, you love them, or show them a little extra emotion. Why is that? For me, it, 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 it's never been that way, never will be that way. I agree. Um, but I'm the, I like showing it. I like telling you. I like leaving cards and notes and sending flowers. I, I like that kind of stuff. Um, for most, I think early in relationships, Early in the marriages, they're, they're, man, they're spot on. I ain't going to forget. I ain't going to forget. And it's like, you know, that's just another deal of flowers on Valentine's Day or whenever. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's it's almost society expects it. So if your girl works in a deal of a, with a bunch of girls and she oh, doesn't get something. Man. yeah, Oh, yeah. Well, it, your man sucks. Yeah. And see, I will never feel, be that man that sucks. I feel the appreciation for like when me and Stephanie talk and stuff is like she told me. She said, you go to the store while I'm at work. You vacuum. You do the dishes because I hate them. She does the clothes. So it's a, it's a partnership and our appreciation goes on top of that. You know what I mean? Of, of I, I appreciate what you do. I, and we talk about that. She married a man who doesn't do that stuff. Who does that, what? Who doesn't leave notes and no. send flowers. I so she text. can't be mad when you don't. Yeah. And it's not like you did at the beginning to woo right. her and then you stopped. Yeah. You never did. Right. I never did it with the first one. But Someone who does at the beginning. Then you're screwed. Better not stop. That's where we're going. That's no, you where don't, I'm going. See, I guess I guess he don't love me the way That's I used exactly to. right. I feel even he when that's not the case, totally you still You're, get that feeling. I feel like you base your love on what he's going to give you if he forgets that day. You're screwed. That, that's where I was going. But 99 out of 100 men, you better have a card or something. Or you better be able to wash dishes like a mofo. Exactly. I suds it up. You better be able to suds do it. Suds it up. Congratulations to the Yukon women. 100 straight wins. Hundred straight wins, and I watched about five minutes of it. They I, were up fourteen with two minutes left, and they were talking. I flipped over when you and they said, said the girls that they have next year. Did you see that part? No. They have one girl that's six six that's sitting out. I don't know if it's injury or she red shirted or whatever. And then they have the number one recruit in the nation. They said if they was to run the table this year, there's probably no way in hell they'll get beat next year. And this is after losing the number one, the number two, and the number three draft pick 
from last year's team in WNBA. Yes, the yes. Top three the top were from three, UConn. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so you're a woman, in more ways than one. Then I couldn't play at UConn. Well, you can now because you're like that one. You're one of those girls. Okay. <clears throat> Do you? And we've talked about this with Alabama and stuff. Do you go? I want to go to a winning program, or I want to go be a standout at South Carolina, Florida, Baylor. If I'm if I'm one or two in the nation, I can, I go to UConn because I'm going to play. If I'm top twenty five, I go somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you, Baylor men, for. I didn't watch it. They lost. Oh. To Tech. To Tech. Yeah. So they were going to be a number one seed, and now they will probably not uh-huh. be a number one seed. Probably be a number two. So Maybe even drop to three. Who knows? Frustration. <clears throat> but they were too good too early. Yeah. You got kind of like the Cowboys. Not peaking. Not peaking at the right time. It is raining today. It is. And 45 is when I walk and in. And chilly. Yes, it is raining and chilly. So you guys be careful out there because we know you like to drive like it's. The roads are icy. Right. Why is that in, and I'm going to say it, why is that here in Waco, Texas? It, it's I think it's in that. Texas. It, I think it's in anywhere but North Texas. Why? What do you think's going to happen? I don't know. There's bad drivers when it's dry. I agree. Drives me nuts. I followed a guy the other day. Coming like when down. I'm texting and they're getting and they're oh, in the way. Oh, I was going there. Like, come on, I was going there. This dude was. I passed him. His knee was on the steering wheel, and he was texting with both hands with his kid in a car seat. And I pass him because he's going about forty-five. Chris has got a nine thirty, so we got to wrap this up. But anytime you're on the interstate and there's a car going slow, they're, they're texting. texting. You know it. You know it when you get up to it. You just look over and go. And let me just say this: I know every person does it because I am sitting here pointing the finger right at myself. Because the other day when I picked him up and I'm in my the Bronco that ain't got, I'm texting and I looked at Chris while I'm driving. And I went, "It is so hard to do this," <laughs> and I still went. Right, let me finish this text before I put it down. I do it way too much. God, even though I tell myself. I'm not going to. I know it. It. It's too much to wait I, five <laughs> minutes to go. Okay. <laughs> Texting and driving, don't do it because we still do. We do not want to hit you on the road. Right. I don't know why we can't stop that. Nobody can. It's it's a, it's a, it's an addiction. Is it the instant deal like you <clears> said? <throat> if you text me while I'm driving, I'm going to read it, and I'm usually going to respond. I. I hate when I text. You, you hate it too. You hate when you text and you don't get a reply. Oh yeah. It's a, so when you can reply, you almost feel like, man, I, I need a reply. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all stop. Stop texting and driving, man. And y'all. And us. All right, man. We're gonna get out of here. Have a great day. The lunch special was right here. I'm not sure what it was, but we know it's good. We'll find. And I was uh yesterday it was stuffed yeah, potato. I got it. That's and it. I'm just gonna go and say I had one. Yeah, I do. I love it. And when it he does was that. good. I love when he does that. All right, we can get out of here, man. Have a great, great, great day. Like, watch, share. Remember, this starts next month, the sponsorship. I'm collecting on the first. If you don't have your stuff. And hey, don't for, don't forget open mic on Tuesdays. Oh, yeah, that's actually really good. Clinton's had this going since day one. Been kind of slow the last few weeks, so I'm just giving a shout-out <clears throat> to uh, all the musicians out there. Really, really super ch- cheap drinks. Tuesday's really the only day. A lot of them don't have gigs. Yeah. So come on out, pick up a guitar. Sing, hey, drink. Bring a big, bring a piano if you want. We don't care. Sing, drink, and if you're J.D. who you quit drinking, sing and eat. Because I know you do that good. Oh, yeah. We're going to get out of here, man. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. And we are out.